Hello, Fear the Meerkat here. Welcome to Scenes of Explicit Violence and Gore. Doesn't that sound fun? <laughs> I know it does for me. Yeah, I don't like the beginning of this game. Not this bit, but, well, you'll see in a minute. But, yeah, you're not watching the trailer. So, this is Resident Evil 2. Resident Evil 2. As he just said. This is a PS1 version. A bizarre incident occurred in the outskirts of an American suburb called Raccoon City. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T-Virus, a mutagenic toxin created by the international enterprise Umbrella Incorporated for use in bioweapon experiments. The Raccoon City Police Department's Special Stars Unit immediately began investigation in the affair. The case was apparently closed thanks to the efforts of STARS members Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. But the Umbrella Corporation's experiments were far from finished. Graphics aren't great. I I apologize. This is using a uh, PlayStation One One uh, emulator, so they're not going to be amazing. But never mind. What have we got here? Leon. What's up with that guy? That was a clean hit. You're talking a second. I'm running out of ammo here. Oh. Wait! Don't shoot! Get down! <gasps> we can't stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. Went Great. insane. The radio's out. You're a cop, right? Yeah. First day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. No! Look out! Really should have checked in the back seat before driving this thing. You okay? Still in one piece. Ah, 
that truck had five days left to retirement. Claire! Leon! I'm okay. Head to the station. I'll meet you there. Okay. See, the thing about this game is it puts you straight into the whole load of zombies after you situation. Parts they ought to just shoot them all. It's my instinct after having played the first game that it's a bad idea to shoot them all. But anyway, I'll see you in a minute once I've actually succeeded. All right, I uh, I managed to get away. I'm sorry I didn't show you all the footage of me managing to get away, but I did. Please. Who are you? What are you doing here? Hold your fire! I'm a human. <sighs> sorry about that. I thought you were one of them. What's going on in this town? Hold on. I don't have a clue. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. Okay, so I really apologize. You missed like 30 seconds of footage where I went towards this building and then open the door. I was probably talking sarcastically um, in, in the bit of the video where I was trying to get away from the zombies and I apologize for that. Honestly, this is what you really want in, in the controls for a game, isn't it? When it's going to immediately put half a dozen uh, things that are chasing you in it. You are going to want controls where it's easy to accidentally walk backwards or turn around without meaning to. I'm, I'm not really sure how the normal uh, bit could be... Um, I'm, I'm not sure how easy could be harder than how hard easy is being so far. But, the good thing about Leo is he starts off with a gun. Now, having gotten a gun, what I need... See? See, the controls are a massive pain in the arse, honestly. What I really need is some health. I'm not I assume H gun is handgun. I mean, the controls are easy when you're not panicking. Okay, so, yeah, my instinct, having played Resident Evil 1, is that uh, it's a very bad idea to um, use up too much ammo. I am making no, uh, no apologies for using save states here. I am not stupid enough to not 
uh, save the game as often as humanly possible after all of that. See ya. Oh, okay. Well, I love my handgun bullets. Trust me, but, um... It's much, much easier once, uh, once you've gotten rid of those, um, <clears throat> once you've gone through the initial part where there are loads of zombies overwhelming you. You do not want to get overwhelmed by the zombies on this game. Uh, can you climb? Yes, apparently I need to press the A button to climb. He is really badly hurt, isn't he? Any chance I can shoot the guy from here? No, no there is not. First game, if you overuse your ammo, then, well, you're not going to survive for long. I am hoping that I can ignore the rules I learnt in Resident Evil 1. Haven't I shot you enough by now? Ah, I didn't thought of that. thought I was supposed to move it, but no. They're very atmospheric doors. Lot. And you have no sympathy for me whatsoever. Frankly.
Yeah, I didn't think I could put up this very useful shield. fan of long empty corridors in this game. I have to say. I'm gonna go back there when I found a healing item. where the bulk of the action for Leo is going to take place. Okay, got to look out for a unicorn. Let's go in here first. Ah, oh, okay, let's not. Computer. Ooh, item. Yes. More, more bullets. Uh, well, um, again, healing item would have been pretty helpful. Now then, that typewriter is for saving the game. But. Okay, I need a card key, but I don't want to use it yet, because even if bullets and plentiful supply, um, ink cartridges might not be, and you need ink cartridges to be able to save, so... Keep on forgetting that it's the, um, the X control to make him one. Anyway, um... I might only be able to save it a limited number of times. Therefore, I need to find the door. And it is right next to me. Don't know why it confused me so much. Be the new guy, Leon. 
Sorry, but it looks like your party has been canceled. What happened? About two months ago, there was this incident involving zombies in a mansion located in the outskirts of this city. Chris and the other STARS members discovered that Umbrella was behind everything. They risked their lives to reveal the truth, but no one believed them. Not long after that, all this started to happen. Uh, uh, hang in there. Don't worry about me. Just rescue the survivors in the other rooms. Here, take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now go. But... Just go. It might be a good idea, Fine. Aunt Sweet. But I'm coming back for you. Just hold on. You realize when you come back for him, he might be a zombie, right? Oh, well, not getting back in there. Uh, let's just have a quick look around to make sure there are no healing items here. I'm certain there are healing items somewhere in this game. I have played it before. I mean, it is pretty surprising that he's still alive. <laughs> so... <laughs> he does block pretty hard, actually. Oh yeah, right, you need to go to the computer first. Might be another key card somewhere. Ah, this doesn't, um, this doesn't look like it has zombies in it. That's good. Um, I'm gonna read these. This letter is just to inform everyone about the recent movement of equipment that has happened during the precinct's rearrangement. The safe with, with four digit lock has been moved from the STARS office on the second floor to the eastern office on the first floor. 2236. Raccoon City, uh, Raccoon City Police Liaison Department. So, yes. Um, we can use that to... Um, that code to open up the uh, the door. You never know whether if one of these might turn out to be a puzzle that you have to solve. So yes, this is for your your equipment. And um, I need to remember how to do this. Yes, you can use your knife. Uh, I am not going to do that right now, but you can. Ah. Oh, okay, thank goodness. Well, n maybe not the most exciting place to end it, but I think that we're on about 25 minutes now, and this seems like a good place to end the episode. I will see you next time.